Hey guys, welcome back to the SLQ series where we discuss questions that are like SPM questions. In this video, we're going to be covering the questions related to a speed time graph. So stay tuned. Let's dive right in. If you haven't learned the theory on speed time graph or you need a refresher, then the link is at the corner of the video. Let's look at this question. The speed time graph shows the motion of car A and car B over 4 hours. So this graph here, car A is the blue graph and car B is the red graph. Calculate the distance of car B from 0 to 2 hours. Car B is the red graph from 0 to 2 hours. This is a speed time graph. In order to find the distance from a speed time graph, we need to get the area under the graph, meaning this area here from 0 to 2 hours this will be the area of the trapezium here because this is from 0 to 2 hours and the formula for the area of a trapezium is half multiplied by the sum of the parallel sides and multiplied by the height so half times a plus b times h put in the values this is one unit this is two units so 1 plus 2 times 60 this is 60 and the answer we get is 90 kilometers. This is in kilometers because the speed is in kilometers per hour and the time is in hours. So we get kilometers. Kilometers per hour times hour we get kilometers. A question can also ask which car has a higher acceleration between 0 and 1 hour. So between 0 to 1 hours let's look at the graph. Acceleration is uh, acceleration and speed time graph is found by the gradient so when we look at the graph, this one does not ask us to get any specific values. This question would probably be only one mark. So here we look at the gradient for the red graph and the gradient of the blue graph. We can see that this is a steeper gradient. The slope here is steeper compared to the blue graph. So this is the higher acceleration. Car B has the higher acceleration compared to car A from 0 to 1 hours. What is the acceleration of the car from 1 to 2 hours? So here the question is asking for the value of the acceleration. What is the acceleration? So again acceleration is determined by the gradient of the graph. So they are looking for the acceleration from 1 to 2 hours. Let's see 1 to 2 hours. Car A. So we are looking for the gradient of this, this uh, slope here. We are looking for this gradient. So in order to find gradient, of course we do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Y2 here, it doesn't matter which you assign 2 and 1 as long as you stick to it. So normally we go to the, the one towards the right is 2 by convention. It doesn't really matter. So here I choose this to be 2. So here the Y value is 30 and the Y value of 1 is 90. So 30 minus 90 and then we have X. This is 2, this is 1, 2 minus 1. So the answer we should get is negative 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, negative 60 kilometers per hour divided by 1 hour. And so we get negative 60 kilometers per hour squared. Again, the unit here is determined by whatever unit is uh, used in a graph. So if this is kilometers per hour divided by hour, we get kilometers per hour squared. Notice that acceleration is negative because this, you can see the speed is slowing down. From 90, the speed is going down to 30. So when the slope is negative, acceleration is negative. If the question asks for deceleration, then the answer would be just 60 kilometers per hour squared without the negative in front. But since this question is asking for acceleration, so we do include the negative. Then the, this is another type of question, also a one mark question. When does, the, when does car A move at constant speed? Now, constant speed means the speed doesn't change. When the, for a speed time graph, when we see that the speed doesn't change here can you see this so we are looking at car a so the blue graph the speed here doesn't change it is 30 at 2 hours at 3 hours and at 4 hours so during this whole time the speed doesn't change another way to look at it this is a direct way to look at it another way to look at it is when the speed doesn't change the acceleration is zero meaning that the acceleration for a speed time graph is determined by the gradient. And when the gradient is zero, the car does not change its speed. 
So when the gradient is zero, the line is a horizontal line. There is no slope. It's just a flat line like this. So this is the part where car A is moving at constant speed. So from two to four hours. Okay, this is one of the more difficult questions. Calculate the average speed of car A. So in order to get average speed, always remember when the word average is used, it is always total over total. So when we have average speed, average speed is calculated by total distance over total time. You cannot get the average speed by looking at the graph. You cannot just look at the graph and pick a value somewhere in the middle. So in order to get average, it's always total over total. In order to find the total distance, again, this is a speed time graph. In order to find distance from a speed time graph, we need to look at the area under the graph. So for total distance traveled by car A, we need to get the total area under the graph for the movement of car A here. So we get the total area here. In order to get the total area, we, this is a irregular shape. So we cannot, we don't have a formula for the area of this shape. So what we do is we break it down into familiar shapes where there is a formula for its area. So here I've broken it down to two trapeziums and one rectangle here. You can break it down however you'd like to break it down. You can use this large rectangle and then you can take the triangle and the trapezium. It's up to you. As long as you break it down into shapes where we have a formula to calculate the area. The whole point here is to calculate the area. So I've broken it down to x, y and z. x, y and z. So this is a trapezium. So we have half times the height which is 1 and the sum of the parallel sides 60 plus 90 and then we have y which is another trapezium so this is also one unit half times 1 times 90 plus 30 here and then we have z so z is just a rectangle so it will just be 30 times 2 here so we will get a total of 195 kilometers this is the total distance traveled by car A. And now we can use this value to find the average speed. So again, the average speed is the total distance over the total time. We put in the value of total distance to be 195 kilometers. And the total time elapsed here is 4 hours, 0 to 4. So 4 hours. And we get an average speed of 48.8 kilometers per hour. So in when we are using, uh, when we are calculating when, uh, things for distant speed time graph, speed time graph gradient will give us acceleration and the area under the graph will give us distance. And when the question asks for average speed, it is always total distance over total time. So if we have to find the total area under the graph to get the total distance and then we divide it, and we divide it by the total time elapsed throughout the journey. That's it for this video guys. If you have any further questions, please feel free to comment down below. If you want to explore different questions, also do comment down below. And if you've learned something, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.